NBC 5's Christine Pitawanch has more on why teachers say they're still not happy. Christine. Craig, you know that extra money reflects retroactive pay the teachers are getting from the beginning of the school year based on new contract terms, terms that teachers we spoke with say they're still frustrated about. For Medford School District teachers, Friday is payday, but Cheryl Lashley says teachers aren't happy. I've heard from teachers who are actually getting less in their paycheck. I've heard 13 cents less all the way up to $100 more. As a result of the district's newly implemented contract. And Lashley is disputing the Medford School District's claims. We believe in every case um, people are getting paid more than they were um, when we started this process. But Dr. Long acknowledges the six added school days in the contract could change the amount teachers see on their paychecks. It really depends on how you frame it. The school board also voted to give teachers retroactive pay from the beginning of the school year. Those checks scheduled to go out on Monday. Most of them are in the range of about $400 to $600. But Lashley claims overall. What it all boils down to is we are being paid less. Perhaps just as much of a concern for teachers is the wording in the implemented contract. There is language that um, teachers can be removed. Removing them from a position for virtually no reason at all. But Dr. Long says teachers are still protected under Oregon law. You get sued when you dismiss uh, uh, contract teachers who have those protections. The district says they're willing to work on wording, but teachers with the MEA say they won't be pushed around. The more the district um, pushes impasse, implementation, those things on us, um, the closer we are to a strike. Well, teachers are expected to vote on whether or not to go on strike sometime after the first of the year, potentially making this holiday a bit more stressful. Now, for more contract details, visit our website, kobi5.com. Live in our Medford newsroom, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.